in the spring of 2009, when it was one of the really bad ones, um, I live a block from the river, um, and my family, uh, we took all our books and boxes and, you know, all the stuff that we could up from our, our lower level because, you know, they said it was going to be a bad flood. Um, so our living room was stacked with boxes, and one of my kids was camped out in another kid's room because we were just shoving stuff everywhere because we had our storage room down there, and we have a finished basement, and it was just a lot of crap. <laughs> anyway, um, so then... The night came when they raised the crest prediction another foot. So I stood in my garage and cried for a while. And then some nice people I didn't know came and helped me move all my furniture upstairs from the basement too. So at this point, my whole upper level, my living room and everything, there's little rabbit trails that you can <laughs> you could kind of get around. Um, and the house was a shambles and it was just horrible. Um, although, I mean, we all know it turned out pretty good, but um, <laughs> anyway, in the midst of all this, it was Easter, um, and so me and my neighbors on either side that we're really good friends with, one was Lori at the time, um, we decided to hell with the flood, we're having Easter. So in the midst of the chaos that was our house and our lives, we um, all had a joint Easter dinner, and it was fabulous. It was Lori and her family, and um, my neighbor to the other side, um, and I guess for the first holiday, that was the whole group, and we kind of joked and said it was the misfit holiday, because I hate to give away your family, but the unmarried couple with the joint kid, and then the gay neighbor <laughs> on the other side, who, you know, sometimes has a boyfriend, sometimes doesn't, you never know. Um, so it was all of us, and we had a great time, and then since then, we've been having Easter and Thanksgiving together, and it's always a toss-up who's going to show up, because um, one year, Lori called me, I think it was the day before Thanksgiving, and said, oh, you remember so-and-so, he just got divorced and really doesn't have anywhere to go, so I said he could come to your house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was like, Okay. And then another time she goes, oh, Allison, her daughter, um, has a friend from school that doesn't have anywhere to go, so can she come too? And I was like, okay. And then the neighbor said, oh, you know, my friend at the lake doesn't really have anywhere to go. Can they come too? And I'm like, yeah, why not? So on these holidays, I think at least half the time, I've had people walk in my door I've never laid eyes on before. But um, there's a lot of wine and a lot of laughing and none of the pressure of having a holiday with your family oh. and it's awesome so that is our tradition most recently we just had thanksgiving with the gay neighbor and <laughs> some other neighbors and some other random people that just happened to show up oh, yeah